What it usually looks like is um, about about two to three pages uh, of people of, of saying, I'm interested in the concept of, uh, or I, I've become interested in what uh, Gramsci and democratic communications, just drawing from 331 since I knew you were in that course. But I haven't read any Gramsci and I don't really know enough about it yet. So I'm interested in doing a, a really big piece of research on that. Or it might be, I'm really interested in understanding how the Woodward's project is working with the um, uh, Downtown Eastside Women's Center. Some people have done that kind of work, and they go and they do interviews. Or someone, um, another research proposal was, uh, I'm really interested in how the media covered the, um, the STV vote in the last provincial election. And I'm going to both do a discourse analysis, look at some of the media coverage, and I'm going to go and interview some of the people involved. So we should try to identify our research method? You don't have to, but you have to have an idea of what your topic is, okay. and whether it's going to be textual research, or textual based, mm -hmm. or human subject based. Because if you're going to be interested in human subject based, if you want to interview people, you know, or do some kind of a, um, uh, you know, participant observation or something like that, you have to get ethics approval. And usually the ethics approval, it's not onerous, but it's very time consuming. You often, do, you start the process at the beginning of your first five credit semester, you don't usually get the approval till the end of the first semester, right? So, so you really have to have an idea of it so that you can start to get your ethics approval. And then if, um, and then by the time you get your ethics approval, you've done your first, uh, you've done your first uh, literature review on the topic, and then you have the approval to go out and do the interviews. If you're just going to do a phenomenology or a discourse analysis, you don't need to get ethics approval. So you have to have enough of a sense of what you want to do so that you don't set yourself up for you know, um, timing problems later. Now, having said that, you know, you can talk to who people, you know, supervisors or myself, you know, people that you've worked with or professors you've liked about, um, you know, what's possible, you know, would it make sense to do this? How might I approach this? And they, they might come up with ideas you like. 